Hey everybody, what's up? It's Dave, welcome back to Quarter Bash. So I've been editing this fourth half dollar search and I have to tell you, it's been a few weeks since I've done it and I've learned a lot in the time since this hunt went down. I say some things in this video that are kind of embarrassing to me now because I know the difference. I know things are different. I'm shocked when I find proof coins and I don't know what they are. You'll see. I figure it out. By the end of the video, I kind of know what's going on because I, in between takes, I went and looked stuff up online. But anyway, you'll see it. So I just wanted to pop in and say, hey, before this thing started, since you don't really see my face for the rest of the video, it's not like you need to see my face, but I don't know. I want to personalize it a little bit. Thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I will uh, see you with many more videos soon. Let's get going on this one. Hello everyone, this is box four of half dollars. We're gonna see what we've got here in this unopened box of halves. I don't know that I'll need this for this part, but we're gonna go through and uh, see what we've got. Let's get started. I apologize, I'm a little bit injured. Hopefully that won't hinder my progress. see any of those enders we always hope for. But man. That's an S. That's a That's a 1981S proof, I believe. Look how beautiful it looks on the end. So that could be something just right off the bat. I haven't seen a coin that good looking in any of the rules that I have found so far. Okay, that's something, that's something right there. So I'm gonna set that one aside. Nothing on the other side of that. We'll put that one in the corner here. And we'll, we'll get to him last. We'll save something special for the end. Um, let me turn it over and see if there's any enders that I see. This is also a 1981S, and it also has a really nice look to it. Okay, so this could be a pretty special box. Because those, uh, I mean, I, are those proofs? I'm gonna find out. All right, let me flip them and see. Okay, so I've got them all flipped. I'm not seeing anything special on the ends on any of these except for these two 1981 S coins. I'm real interested to see what's in those rules. And the rest of them, uh, we'll just go through as normal and um, I'll just open them and then at the end we'll come back and take a look at the haul. If in the course of opening them, I find anything silver or special, I'll point it out. I can already tell that this also like the other three boxes I have opened before, has 2018 NIFC coins in it. So by now, by the time I've uploaded this video, maybe I've had the question answered as to why there are so many of those. Maybe it's just something about this area. I don't know, but I'm gonna put them all aside and I don't know, maybe give some away. All right, let's see what we've got. Ah, 2004, something a little different finally.
and 2008. So now we're getting into some different coins. That's cool. There's kind of a different look in there. Can you see it? Nineteen eighty six S. It's just a thicker looking coin. Very cool. Roll 40, still no silver. Interesting coins, but no silver. <laughs> a roll without a 2018. That's a rarity these days. All right, I'm going to flip my box around since it's upended here. These are my two coins with these beautiful enders. My two coin rolls with these beautiful enders. So we'll just come this way down the line. And we'll end with those. We'll see what we'll see what those 81s look like cuz I believe they're both 1981 S's. I believe they're both proofs. Okay. These two rolls are special. Just to make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Those are both 1981 S's. Let's see. Is that too close? Anyway, they look real nice to me. Start with this one. I'm gonna open it real careful. Well, right off the bat, this one. Absolutely an 81S. And we've got our usual offenders. Nineteen eighty. Okay. All right. Last roll. Our last shot for silver, unless something in the discards I just missed, is going to be this roll, roll number 50, with that 1981S on top. Let's see what we get. All right. That is a beautiful coin. It's got that ender ring wear though, which I don't like, which is a real bummer. But, oof, man, that looks nice. Okay.
Oh, hey, 2015. There's a little NISC. Okay, we found another little something in the end of this one. What do you got here? All right, I think that's it for notable coins. So, <sighs> this is a nice start. I believe I've got four proof coins here, legit proof coins like I've never found before. Four NIFCs that are not the 2018s, which are so prevalent in this area. Um, so I'm gonna go sort through everything else and lay out my finds. And uh, when I come back, we'll We'll see what this we'll see what this looks like and uh, we'll see what I want to give away. Okay, so here we are with the breakdown of all of the 50 cent pieces for my fourth half dollar hunt. So here's my mat, <laughs> my homemade mat on paper with the years 1971 through 2001 and you can see here kind of what the distribution of years is for half dollars and I think this looks similar to what I've done before um, you know there's a few other half dollars here I'll show you what those are all about in a minute those are the rest of these stacks if I stacked some of these as high as they needed to go they would have toppled over and mixed everything up and I just wanted to at least be able to capture this before we did that and then over here is something else we'll talk about in a second these are the the fines from the lot. So lots and lots of everything up to 1977, including of course, a lot of bicentennial coins. That's, you know, that's to be expected. That seems to be in every box. And I've checked all the 1972s for missing FGs. Didn't have any of those. Uh, I checked the, what is it? The 74s for the double die obverse. That thing's really hard to see. I think it was, I checked the right ones. Maybe it was the 71s regardless. I went through my list and did what I could find. I didn't find any error coins or anything interesting in that regard this time. So, you know, I don't expect that to happen with every box. And then once we get here, of course, we see, you know, there's a lot less half dollars and none in 1987. And I believe that's because they didn't make any. I don't even know if they did proofs or anything that year. That's something to look into. And then, you know, 86 and 88, they also didn't do very many. So, and then as we get, you know, Further on, it seems like they started making a lot more or this box just happened to have a lot more from that time period in it. And I think that this distribution looks an awful lot like the other times I've done this with this with this paper mat. Um, but I'll keep doing it and we'll get a sense over time, you know, exactly what we can expect to see. Um, so at the end of this, I'll, uh, I'll try to stack those coins on and see if I can successfully, like a game, like like reverse Jenga or something, if I can get those coins in their proper stacks uh, without knocking it over. Um, but before I screw everything up, I'd like to take a look at the finds. So here we have what I keep finding, and that is 2018 NIFC Denver half dollars. I know they made a lot of these, I just can't figure out why so many of these coins that were not intended for circulation are in my local coin supply. This is 72, 72 coins. It's less than last time, or I think. I think it's been diminishing returns each box. Like there was a vast amount dumped into our local supply or something, but it's weird. So I'm gonna keep probably one or two rolls of these maybe, and possibly, you know, I don't know if anyone's interesting. I might give some of these away here as I start doing giveaways. But yeah, so this isn't terribly exciting. These are all Denver's. If I found a Philadelphia, I'd be kind of excited at least because it would be different. But nope, they're all D's. And let's take a look at the legit finds from the box. These are the coins that were awesome. So I'm going to move uh, some of them out of the way so we can get a better look here. All right, so first off, we've got our legit NIFC half dollars. We've got a 2004... What's that? 2008, 2011, 2015, and 2017. And as usual, most of these are Ds, I think. Well, I thought there was one P in here. Whatever. 
These are going into my collection, uh, such as my collection is. Once I get full sets of the 2002s through 2018s, I guess, I'll probably start giving them away by set to viewers. So I'll announce that as it comes. But I'm going to hold on to all these, of course, and uh, do something with them. But I'm not keeping them because I don't really want to have a coin collection. Anyway, uh, that... 2011 is a P, I believe. It's hard for me to see from where I'm standing right now, but it is. That's a P. So that's weird. I don't get a lot of P coins out here. Maybe just because um, this is Seattle. I'm in Seattle, the Seattle area anyway. And uh, maybe we just get most of our coins from the Denver Mint out here. I don't know. But let's take a look now at the legitimately cool finds. Boom. All right. 1981S proof coin. 1981S proof coin. Can you see how awesome those are? Look at that. I love that frosted cameo look. They look so cool on both sides. They're just... I thought I had found some cool looking coins before. I wasn't sure about proof like. If proofs were just something that um, each each mint did and they just looked better or they were the first ones off the mint or whatever. But now that I've actually found legitimate proofs, I see the difference and I understand. So these are cool. I'm going to look at them under my scope a little bit later to see if the S's, to see which type of S's they are. Because I found out that in 1981 in the proofs in San Francisco, there were two different types of S's. Like... And one's more valuable than the other. So that's kind of cool. I also found a 1983 S-minted proof. And a 1986. So that's cool. That's a nice little batch of coins to, to keep from a single box coin search. Would have liked to have had some silver, but that wasn't, uh, that wasn't in the coins today. So we will... Uh, We'll set these aside. I'll figure out how I'm going to give these away. I am going to give them away. Right now, I'm basically planning how I'm going to do uh, that competition. I'll likely do a thing where I have you put like a movie quote or song lyrics or something in the comments, and then I'll randomly pick using some kind of randomization so it's legit and not just the ones that I like. I will uh, pick some winners, and then I'll have you like send me an email with your address and send them to you in the mail. Something like that. That's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, if anyone has a better way for me to do the contest, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, okay. We'll take a look at these in the scope and then we'll uh, and then we'll be done. Oh, but I but I promised you this, didn't I? Okay. Let's see what I can do. Well, that was pretty uncool. That's something I need to watch for. You'll notice those coins are gone. I thought I was recording. I did this whole thing where I stacked these coins and almost knocked a bunch over. And I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. But, of course, I had accidentally hit my phone with my finger and stopped recording. So, you can see the aftermath. I did successfully get all the coins stacked. So, 1971s, there were a ton of them. This front section got really front-loaded with a lot of coins. These early 70s coins. Except for 73. Yeah. All right. Well... If I had knocked that over and made a big mess and not been filming, I would have been super bummed. So I guess this is the best possible outcome for <sighs> screwing up your phone recording. So anyway, that is the box represented by year. And I guess all we have to do now is go in, check those 1981s, S's under the scope, see what kind of S's they have, and then come back with a few final thoughts. And that's all. All right. See you in a minute. Hello friends. All right, here we are with the scope with my 1981 half dollars, my uh, 81 proofs. This one was the unfortunate ender that had the, you know, the ring of death, I guess it's called. This is the filled S version. It's a smaller S. It's got like, you know, metal material inside the S. And yeah, this I guess is the less rare version. There weren't numbers that I could find. Um, Anyway, I looked on USA Coinbook. That's where I've been getting a lot of my uh, a lot of my numbers, a lot of the information I've been getting in the videos so far, and I did not see any actual numbers between the filled S and the and the other one, which they call the clear S. So this is the less valuable one, apparently. 
the filled S. And that's okay for me because it's got the ring anyway. And also it's not really going to matter for me much because I'm not really going to uh, to be keeping these. But uh, oh, wouldn't that be cool if we saw something? All right. Here is the other 1981, which also has a little bit of that ring, although it's not as prevalent. This might have been, this might have got that somewhere else. Yeah, see, it's got it too. Although you're going to see that this is a very different looking coin. There we go. That is the clear S version and is a much more valuable version of this coin. Not that the one that I have here is really necessarily gradable to the point where it's going to get a lot of money. But then again, like I said, I won't really be keeping these. I'll be giving them away. So someone will be able to get this for their collection at some point. And hopefully it'll be, you know, good enough that it's in this condition. It's not, it's not bad. It's not great though. It's got some little, got some little marks. But this scope does a lot of, uh, it really, really shows everything wrong. It's quite a thing. And it's a very cheap and bad scope too. One of these days I'm going to get a good one. This was, I think, a $13 scope on eBay. Okay. I think that's it. That's the end of the video. I said I was going to have some final thoughts also. Here's my final thoughts. Why don't you like and subscribe? Like the video, subscribe to my channel. You know, that would be so cool. It would really help me out. I'm uh, going to keep doing these videos. And I can tell you right now, as I'm doing this part and editing this video, I've made more finds. I've had a lot more interesting things happen in the coin searches. There's going to be a lot of fun things coming. So on top of that, I've got some devious plans for how I think I'm going to give away the coins. It's nothing I've seen before on YouTube. I think it's going to be kind of fun. But those are plans for future months. So subscribe. Hit that hit that bell so you can find out when I've got new videos out. And uh, you'll be the first to know when uh, when my schemes come to fruition. All right. Thanks for watching.